lesson is on solving systems of equations by graphing special cases. Suppose we want to solve the system of equations 2x minus 2y equals 4 and y minus x equals 3. To solve this by graphing, we would want to put both of our lines in slope-intercept form. So working on the first line, 2x minus 2y is equal to 4, we would begin by subtracting 2x from both sides. So negative 2y is equal to negative 2x plus 4. We would then want to divide all of our terms by negative 2. And our equation becomes y equals 1x or x plus a negative 2 or subtract 2. So that tells us that our slope is 1 or the fraction 1 over 1 and our y-intercept is negative 2. So to graph this line, we would first find negative 2 on the y-axis, and then our slope of 1 over 1 tells us to go up 1 and right 1 from that point. Our line is then drawn in. So now we'll work on the second equation, y minus x is equal to 3. To put this into slope-intercept form, or y equals form, we're going to add x to both sides. So that gives us y equals x plus 3. This tells us that our slope is 1, or the fraction 1 over 1, and our y-intercept is 3. So we begin by graphing the y-intercept on the y-axis, and then a slope of 1 tells us to go up 1 and right 1 from there. Our line is then drawn in. Now notice that the two lines are parallel. So we would say that this system has no solution because these two lines have no points of intersection. Let's look at another example. Let's solve the system y equals negative 3 halves x plus 4 and 4y equals negative 6 plus 16 by graphing. You'll notice that our first line is already in slope-intercept form because it reads y equals. So they're telling us that our slope of that line is negative 3 halves and our y-intercept is 4. So placing the y-intercept on the y-axis, our slope tells us then to go down 3 and right 2 from that point. Our line is then drawn in. Now we need to take the second equation and put it into slope-intercept form. So to do that, we're going to divide every term by 4. So that gives us y equals negative 6 fourths, which reduces to negative 3 halves, x plus 16 fourths, which reduces to 4. So to graph this line, we recognize that the slope is negative 3 halves, and the y-intercept is 4. So we'll place the y-intercept on the y-axis, and we'll go down 3 and right 2 to find other points on our line. Notice how this line is coinciding with the other line. So it gives us the same line. When this happens, we say that the system has infinitely many solutions. because every point on the line is an intersection point. So there are infinitely many solutions.